the best things in life, the best things in life have sugar in them. Me, you, cornbread. My name is Callie, and I think there is nothing wrong with putting a little sugar in your cornbread. Hey, my name is Matt, and I believe that this debate is really a matter of cornbread versus cake, because sugar in cornbread is not cornbread at all. I'm not saying cover your cornbread in icing and put birthday candles on it. I'm just saying put a little sugar in there. It's okay. It tastes good. Nothing wrong with that. Once you add sugar to cornbread, you've got cake. That's not true. So. You dip an apple in caramel, caramel apple, is it still an apple? It's no longer, it's no longer healthy, that's not, you're missing the The inside corn. is, cornbread isn't healthy. If your doctor says eat more fruits and vegetables, cornbread isn't part of that argument. It's already on the fritz, so put a little sugar. I don't believe so, corn is in the name, so inherently it's good for you. All right, so Jiffy Box. Everyone loves this little Jiffy Box. There's some sugar in there. There's not much. There's just a little sprinkle. It's the third ingredient. What do you mean there's not well, much? Well, I mean, there's not a lot of ingredients. It's like, what, cornmeal, something else, and sugar. Just a little. Wheat flour, degerminated yellow cornmeal, sugar. Then something very interesting here. I'm listening. Chelsea Milling Company, North Street, Chelsea, Michigan. What a coincidence. That's probably just where it was packaged. I, I'll have to double check your box. Let's see. Ooh. So this is just the cornmeal. and There it. is no sugar in Martha's. No. But you need more than just this. Yep. You need eggs. You need buttermilk. Oh, here we go. You need bacon grease. Oh! You need cast iron skillet. Let the record show. Martha has a recipe for easy golden cornbread. What does she say? One fourth cup of sugar. Even her Tex-Mex cornbread has one teaspoon of sugar. That's all I'm saying. Just put a little bit of sugar. I hate to go into this section here, this realm on back porch pickering, but I believe that there is somewhat of a conspiracy to add sugar to more things because sugar is addictive and you'll want to eat more of it. I know, I know what Martha and the rest of Big Cornbread is up to. <laughs> Big cornbread. But Grandma didn't add sugar to a cornbread. You don't know what Grandma was doing that. She used Martha White. You don't have to add sugar to the mix. God prefers you not to. I, in this case, I would treat it like salt. You don't want to over salt. You don't want to over sugar here. Just enough to be present. Just enough to be present. Just enough to be present. It's like yoga, cornbread yoga. You're basically saying, like, I can't even taste it, so what's the point of it? Like, why are you even putting it in there? There's a point. So I'm usually on your side of this table. I think like homemade jams and jellies, the recipes call for way too much sugar. Cut it in half at least. I think cobblers, they call for way too much sugar. Cut it. But in cornbread, you need a little sugar. It tastes what better. What is wrong with you? You want less sugar in your cobbler and more in your cornbread? You are broken. <laughs> and when I think about the things that are, that are impacting the world today that are having a negative impact, it is number one, sugar in cornbread. Uh, number two, it's drugs. And number three, it's the idiots that go the wrong direction in Walmart's parking lot when the arrow clearly says go this way and they want to go the other way. Those are three things that are making the world a worse place. You put sugar in that cornbread that you put in your milk and your butter beans and your chili and you've ruined it. I, You're no. going to be tasting that sugar with all that stuff and you don't want it. No, I think you must have like Superman taste buds. Because I do. You, you can't taste the sugar that much. It's just a little enhancement. I'm just going to say it. I enjoy food on a much different level than you, a much a better level. I think fat people in general, that's why they're fat is because they taste more things than skinny people that's do. That's not true. And that's why we love food so much. Then put some sugar in your cornbread because you'd love it. No. Do it. <laughs> this is from Michigan too? No, it's not. They, I don't know. They box a lot of things it's up It's from there. Yonkers, New York. It's sugar. It's There's okay. There's so many Yankee things on this porch right now. This sugar, this corn muffin mix, you starts with the cornbread, and then next it's the gravy, and then it's the fried chicken, and then where does it end? I'm going to save gravy for another day because I'm going to have to go see what my mom does to her gravy before I answer that question. If your mom puts sugar in I don't think she does, gravy, but I'm going to have to ask. I'm calling Job Checker Services. I'm going to have to ask. I don't think she does, but TBD. In conclusion, <laughs> I believe the people who put sugar in their cornbread, when you listen to them talk about it, listen closely. It sounds like they're an addict. They say, add a little bit, it's fine. That's how it starts. That's how they get you. 
Don't do it. When someone tells you to put sugar in their cornbread, just say no. I bet we really could make a good birthday cake using cornbread. I tried. <laughs>